Tenguk refers to the source of everything in the universe and the universal law in which everything continuously goes through cycles of creation and destruction. Pumse Tenguk symbolizes the root principle of universal philosophy and is constructed by applying the truth inherent in Tenguk's yin and yang principles. Tenguk Oja stands for Song of the Eight Trigrams and symbolizes calm and authority. Teguk Oja is a pumse that emphasizes techniques of self-defense rather than athletic function. We will now take a look at the pumse of Teguk Oja. Teguk Ojang consists of five key moves, namely Mejumok Neryochigi, Parkumchi Dolyochigi, Parkumchi Pyojokchigi, Goasogi, and Yopsogi. These are the key moves of Teguk Ojang. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Teguk Ojang. Mejumok Neryochigi is a technique used to strike an opponent by drawing a big descending circle with your hammer fist. While your arms cross at the solar plexus, your assisting arm should face outward. The striking hand should pass under the assisting arm, draw an arc above your head, and stop at the shoulder line with your arm naturally straightened. Your fist should not stop at the head. Be careful not to let your arm bend. Pargumchi Doryochigi is a technique used to strike with the elbow in a swinging motion. Bend your elbow so the back of your hand faces upward. Place the fist in front of the shoulder of your striking arm. Spin your torso and strike. The elbow should be slightly above your shoulder. Your chest should open up when performing the move. The elbow and fist should be placed along the same line. Be careful not to let your fist fall below your shoulder. The assisting hand should be open. Assist the Pargumchi Doryochigi by letting it touch the palm of the hand assisting the first of the swinging arm. Do not hold your fist with the open hand of the assisting arm. Pargumchi Pyojokchigi is a technique used to create a target by opening your assisting hand, twisting your torso about 45 degrees, and striking a target with the elbow. The elbow of the arm creating a target should be slightly bent and at solar plexus elevation. Be careful not to let the palm of the assisting hand hit your elbow or hold your elbow with your hand. Goasogi is a posture where you bend your knees by twisting your feet using a low stance one fist's width between your feet. Stand low like Juchumsogi, with the shin of one leg touching the calf of the other. Apgoasogi refers to moving sideways and performing Goasogi in front of the supporting leg while Dui Goasogi refers to placing the other foot behind the forward foot to perform Goasogi, then coming to a halt. Be careful not to let your shin and calf part. Yopsogi is a posture where you twist one foot 90 degrees outward from the Naranhisogi posture. Straighten your knees and stand naturally with one foot's length between your feet. 
Your center should be between your feet. These are the key moves of Teguk Ojang. We will now look at the moves in succession, connecting each move. The key moves of Teguk Ojang first part consist of Wen Aremaki, Wen Mejumok Neryochigi, Oren Aremaki, and Oren Mejumok Neryochigi. Push off the ground with your front foot from Apkubi Aremaki. Move your center to your hind leg. Stand in Yopsogi posture. Then perform Mejumok Neryochigi. All must be performed in one continuous motion. Your eyes should follow the direction of Pumse. Cautions for Teguk Ojang, first part, taking a closer look. Do not perform Mejumok Neryochigi in a similar fashion to Dungjungmok Pakachigi, and your first should not pass in front of your face when striking. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Ojang first part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Ojang second part consist of Wen Anmaki and Oren Anmaki, Oren Apchagi and Oren Dungjumok Apchigi and Wen Anmaki. Wen Apchagi and Wen Dungjungmok Apchigi and Oren Anmaki and Oren Dungjungmok Apchigi. Breathe in after performing Wen Maki, then connect to Oren Maki. Bend your knee using the momentum from Apchagi, then perform the preparatory Dungjungmok Apchigi move. After the kicking foot touches ground, connect the Dungjungmok Apchigi and Anmaki. Concentrate on the use of your breath and muscles and coordinate spinning of the torso while connecting the moves. Cautions for Teguk Ojang, second part, taking a closer look. Connect the moves so the Wen Anmaki and Oren Anmaki flow naturally. The target for Dungjungmok Apchigi is above the philtrum. Be careful not to let your fist rise above your shoulder when performing Anmaki. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Ojang, second part, in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Ojang, third part, consist of Wen Sonar Pakatmaki, Oren Parkunchi Doryochigi, Oren Sonar Pakatmaki, Wen Parkunchi Doryochigi, Wen Aremaki, and Oren Anmaki, Oren Apchagi, and Oren Aremaki, and Wen Anmaki. Bend your knee using the momentum from Apchagi, then perform the preparatory Aremaki move. Then connect Aremaki and Anmaki when the kicking foot touches the ground. Cautions for Teguk Ojang, third part. Taking a closer look. Apchagi and Aremaki. Anmaki moves should all be performed in succession. When performing Pargunchi Doryochigi, the targeting hand should not wrap around the elbow. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Ojang third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Ojang fourth part consist of Wen Orgurmaki, Oren Yopchagi, and Wen Parkumchi Pyojokchigi. Oren Orgulmaki, Wen Yopchagi, and Oren Palkumchi Pyojokchigi, Wen Aremaki, and Oren Anmaki, and Oren Apchagi, and Oren Dungjumok Apchigi. When performing Orgulmaki, the first of the blocking arm should start from outside of the assisting arm, making a cross in front of the torso, then blocking the face. 
When performing yopchagi, cross your arm, making your targeting arm pull to the back, and straighten while drawing an arc as if performing mejumok pakachigi. Your leg and arm should be parallel when performing this move. Yopchagi and the movement of both arms should be performed simultaneously. Bend your knee using the momentum from yopchagi, then create a target by opening your hand. Twist your torso about 45 degrees and strike a target at solar plexus elevation with your elbow. Arm and hand movements should be performed simultaneously. When performing apchagi and dungjungmok apchigi, the foot blade of the striking foot should maintain a 45 degree angle when seen from the front. Complete the move by performing dungjungmok apchigi the moment the following foot touches the ground. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Ojang, fourth part in succession, while watching the video. <coughs> this concludes the training for Teguk Ojang. We will take another look at all the moves and master Pumse. We have looked at the key moves of Teguk Ojang and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. You will be able to hone even more accurate and delicate moves if you continue training while paying attention to the exertion of force. We will see you again in the Teguk Yukjang video. Thanks for watching.